Hi everybody, my name is Shimangi, and today I'm going to teach a power yoga session for ex-mood support to lift up your spirit. What you need is um, a mat or a towel and maybe you want to put on your favorite music and make sure that you're nice and in comfortable clothes. And we start lying down on our backs. I'm going to turn one corner so that we have a little bit of eye contact. Legs are bent. And I always like to start my sessions with moving the knees from side to side. Making the movement bigger. Turning from the hips. Relaxing the back. And loosening up the back. How is your back today? I hope it's good. If not, you're at the right spot. Legs still, feet are about hip distance apart, and then push the hips up and roll down slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Did I say slowly? I meant slowly, of course. Slowly rolling down. One more time. And we end with the hips high. Core is engaged. We draw on the belly button just a little bit. You can squeeze your butt if you want to. And then lift the heels and lower the heels. And let's repeat. Lift and lower. Still squeezing the butt. Let's do this one more time. And then slowly rolling down once again. Place the feet together. Knees go out and push the soles of your feet together. And then squeeze your butt and move the knees up and down as fast as you can. This is usually where I start doubting my motor skills. But what really works is if you start thinking about something else completely. But it has to be something that really grabs your attention. So it shouldn't be something daily, shouldn't be food. Well, it can be food, but there should be something odd about it. So an odd color, you know. For instance, stroke waffles, but then blue stroke waffles. You know stroke waffles? They are really good. I'm still thinking about blue straw bubbles. You can think about something else, of course. We're trying to open up the hip area. With most people, this area is uh, quite stiff, especially if you sit behind the desk uh, a lot. And that usually manifests in lower back pain. Or just stiffness in the lower back. And hold. Now bring your knees towards the chest, arms wide, and try to keep the core engaged. Now push the knees a little bit closer towards your face. You have to start working now. Feel how the lower back comes off the floor and take a deep breath in. Well, not too deep. 
It doesn't have to be you add belly breath. And while you breathe out, you move your legs to one side and you turn your face to the other side. And then back to the middle, breathing in and breathing out. Go to the other side, face in the opposite position. When you breathe in, then you bring your legs back to the middle. You push your knees towards your face. And when you breathe out, you push your knees towards your arm. So there's always an upwards movement in it. Breathing in and breathing out. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can extend the top leg. You don't have to. We're still, we're still busy waking up. And one more time to one side, one more time to the other. And then bring your knees towards your chest, lift your head, chin towards your chest, that way there is a little bit less tension in your head, and then you can roll up until you sit. Place the feet in front of you, core engaged by drawing in the belly button, breathing in, arms go up, and round your spine while you breathe out, and roll to the back, and then chest forward, breathing in, and breathe out, to the back. Repeat at your own pace. One more time. And after the last time, you hold on to your thighs, lean back a little bit. I'm trying to find the area between my tailbone and my sitting bones. And breathing in, extending the legs, breathe out, legs bent. Once again, breathe in and breathe out. Core is still engaged. Here you can let go of your legs. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathing in and out. Breathe in. Now you can lie down on your back, arms over here, breathe out. Bend your legs, breathing in. Turn your face to the right, breathe out. Extending arms and legs. Breathe in to the other side and breathe out. And breathing in. How about the core? Is it still engaged? Breathe out. And again, breathing in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. If it's too much, just take a break. Breathe in. You can even hold on to your legs if you want to. Breathe out. And one more time to the right. Breathe in. And breathe out. And let's skip the other side. No, <laughs> breathing in. And let's go to hands and knees while we breathe out. Spread your fingers. Now we are going to shift our weight forward. Bending the arms a little bit, and we go to the back. I'm going to give you a side view. So, like this. You can go far if you have strong arms and strong shoulders, but you don't have to. If you want to make this a little bit harder, you can keep the knees lifted. But I truly hope that the floor is not as slippery as over here. You can put your knees down to make it easier, but don't forget to keep the core engaged. One more time. Okay, walk the feet towards the hands. And we stand in the forward fold. You can let your arms dangle or hold on to your elbows. And the crown of the head should be pointing towards the floor. The next time you're breathing in, you can try to create some more length in the legs. And when you breathe out, you bring your upper body just a little bit closer towards the thighs. Now, 
Let's go up slowly. If you go up too fast, you might get dizzy. Let's try not to do that, okay? Feet together. Now, there is another uh, video for the wake-up sessions in which I do a breakdown about the sun salutations. So I won't be doing that in this video. So let's lift the arms, take a deep breath in. And while you breathe out, you bring your hands towards the floor. You can always breathe at your own pace. Now place your hands on your shins or on your thighs, breathe in, make a nice long spine. Breathe out, put your hands on the floor and you step back, left, right to plank position and go down. And we go to upward facing dog. Breathe in and press your shoulders away from the ears. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Fingers are spread. If it's too much, you can just put your knees down. If it's too much for the wrists, I suggest you turn your hands out just a little bit more. Your wrists will get stronger. Bend your legs a little bit, look towards your hands and you step forward, breathe in, lift the chest, breathe out, hands towards the floor, nice long spine, breathe in, bring the arms up and breathe out, lower the arms. Let's do this again. Breathe in, arms go up and breathe out, hands towards the floor, lift the chest, breathe in. Nice long spine and breathe out. You either step to the back or you jump to the back. Bend the arms. We go to upward facing dog. Breathing in. Press the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe out. Downward facing dog. Fingers spread. Bend the legs a little bit more, look towards your hand, step or jump forward, breathing in, lift the chest, breathe out, hands towards the floor, nice long spine and breathe in, and breathe out, lifting your arms once again, deep breath in, breathe out, bring your hands towards the floor, lift the chest, breathe in, and breathe out, step or jump, back to plank position, going down, upward facing dog, deep breath in, downward facing dog, and breathe out. Are we getting warmer? I really hope so. And bend the legs a little bit, look towards your hands, step, jump, or jump forward, breathing in, and breathe out, bring the hands down. Nice long spine, breathe in, rise, and breathe out. I'm not completely warm yet, so let's try a different variety. Bring the hands to the floor, and lift in your arms, deep breath in, and breathe out, hands go down. Lift the chest, breathe in. Bring the hands to the floor, breathe out. Stepping back, we're going to upward facing dog and breathe in. Press the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Now place your right foot between your hands. Put your left heel down, breathe in. Front leg, bend and breathe out. Go down. Is the core engaged? Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Step forward with your left leg and put your right heel down, front leg, bend. Deep breath in. Breathe out and go down again. You can also work at your own pace. Upward facing dog, breathing in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Spread the fingers. Especially your thumb and your index finger and your middle finger. If you 
feel you're struggling with keeping a nice long spine, I suggest you keep your legs bent. Now bend your legs a little bit more, look towards your hands, step or jump forward, breathe in. And breathe out, bring the hands towards the floor. Bend your legs, lift the arms, deep breath in. And breathe out. And then bringing the fingertips towards the floor again. Lifting the arms, breathe in. Lengthening the legs, breathe out. Your hands do not have to touch the floor right now. Now lift the chest, breathe in. And breathe out. We're going back to plank position. Chaturanga and upward facing dog. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Breathe out. Step forward with your right leg and anchor your left heel in the floor. Deep breath in and breathe out. Bring the hands down. Once again, upward facing dog. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Breathe out. Step forward with your left leg. Put your right heel into the floor. Deep breath in and breathe out, going down, elbows close to the sides, upward facing dog, in, downward facing dog, breathe out, spread your fingers, you can put your knees down if you want to. And bend the legs, look towards your hands, step or jump forward. Take as many steps or jump as you, as you want to. Deep breath in, you have to. Breathe out, hands to the floor. Bend the legs, breathe in. And breathe out. How are you doing? Bring the fingertips towards the floor. Lift the arms, breathe in. And breathe out, hands to the floor. Now let's stay here for a little while. Lift your right leg behind you while you breathe in and bend your right leg while you breathe out. Maybe you can grab your right foot with your left hand. Extending the leg, opening up the hip area. Maybe you can bring your upper body just a little bit closer towards your thigh. Now you either stay here or you let go of your right foot you put your left foot hand down and maybe you can grab your right foot with your right hand. So what I do is I keep my knees close together because my foot shouldn't be too far away at this point. So I'm trying to grab my ankle or my foot and then try to open the hip area once again. Crown of the head pointing down. Take your time, try not to move too fast. Ah, put your right hand and your right foot down. And let's try to do the same thing with our left foot. This might be a little bit easier. Why? Because the right leg is stronger, so you might be a little bit more stable. Fingers crossed. Lift your left leg, breathe in. And bend the leg while you breathe out. Crown of the head, pointing towards the floor. You can also keep both hands on the floor and just keep the left foot lifted. Now, why do I come up with this option at the other leg? Because I first want you to try. Try this one. Try again. And let go of the foot. I'm going to lower my left knee and I'm going to try to grab my left foot with my left hand. Crown of the head, pointing down. Keep breathing. And put your hand and your foot down. I hope that went well. Now lift the chest. Deep breath in and put your hands down. Step or jump to plank position. Uh, we go to upward facing dog. Breathe in, downward facing dog. 
breathe out. Now step forward with your right leg, but keep the left heel lifted. Lift the arms. Push the hips forward until you feel a little bit of stretch right here. Shoulders down. And maybe you can move your upper body just a little bit to the back. And you either stay here or you try to lift the front heel as well. Maybe you can sink a little bit deeper. Fingers should be long as well. Now lower the front heel, move your upper body forward just a little bit and lift your left leg. Now I wonder if I'm still in the camera, I'm going to jump back. You can just step back if the furniture is bothering you and try to create some length from your left leg to your body, to your arms. Maybe you can sink a little bit deeper. and bring your left knee forward. You can also put your foot down. I'm going to grab my left thigh with my right hand and then bring my left arm to the back. And you can keep facing your computer or your phone, I don't know what you're using right now. Or you look towards your left hand. Look in front of you, lift both arms and step back with your left leg. We're going back to the lunge and then I'm going to turn to the left, making sure that my right foot is still pointing forward, pushing my right knee to the side. Your toes of your left foot should be pointing to the left side and then bring your upper body forward. You can place your underarm on your thigh, bring your left arm forward. What you could also do is grab the ankle and then use the arm to open up your upper body a little bit more. Now, look towards your foot. Bring your hands down, we're going back to plank position. Breathe in, bend the arms, breathe out. We're going to upward facing dog. Deep breath in, downward facing dog. Breathe out and step forward with your left leg. Big step or several steps. Arms are going up, shoulders down and push the hips forward. Lean back a little bit and if possible, lift your front heel. Shoulders down. Lower the front heel, lean forward just a little bit and try to lift your right leg. Creating length, you can bend your left leg a little bit more. It will actually give you more stability. It's harder work, of course, but at the end of the day, it's still power yoga. And then lower the right leg. Going up, breathe in, and oh, we'll bring the knee forward. I would almost forget that. Shame on me. <laughs> nice long spine. I wonder why I would forget this one. Probably because I don't like this one. But it's good for me. It's a good twist to loosen up the back a little bit more. And look forward once again and step back with your right leg, lifting your arms. So we're good now, right? And then put your right heel down, returning 
to the right. Now make sure that your feet are pointing forward, your left foot. Make sure your right foot is pointing to the right. You push your left knee a little bit to the left to engage the inside of your thigh. And then move your upper body forward. So option one, you place your arm here. Option two, you grab your ankle and bring your right arm forward and push the hips down. Now look towards your feet, bring your hands down. We're going back to plank position while we breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. You can forget these terms. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Now, can you lift your right leg as high as you can? You can hold in the hip area. Breathe in, and then bend your right leg while you breathe out. Now, you can either stay here, you can also lower the knees and have a look. What I'm going to do is push my right leg further and further to the left until I feel gravity pulling in. What I'm going to do is just give, give in to gravity. So I feel the pull, lowering the leg, putting the heels down, turning the feet to the back of the row, and then pushing the hips up. Now, if this is too much, you just sit down. I'll open the chest. I dare you to look grumpy in this position. And we're going to turn back. Take your time. Back to downward facing dogs. So, the first time might be scary. You get the hang of it. You can pause the video and try again. Or try afterwards. I am going to lift my left leg. Bend it. Open the hip area. I feel gravity pulling. I'm just going to give in to it, putting the heels down, turning the feet to the back of the room, lifting the chest. Hey everybody. So I'll open the chest, pushing the hips up. I'm going to, I'm trying to look grumpy, but this position always lifts me up. And then we turn back to downward facing dog. I hope that went well. Now you bend your legs and you either step forward or you jump forward. <laughs> Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, hands to the floor. Bend the legs. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now make sure that the feet are together. If you don't like your feet touching, just separate them a little bit. Now lift the arms, press the palms together. Deep breath in. And then upper body a little bit to the back while you breathe out. Now press your chest towards the ceiling. Keep the core engaged and squeeze your butts. Are you still breathing? Push, push the inside of your thighs together. Now bring your hands in front of your chest, bend the legs, and turn your face to the right. I'm going to place my uh, left elbow on the outside of my right thigh, and I'm going to make sure that the knees stay together. If they're not in one line, the hips will be aligned, and neither will your back. I'm using my left arm to open the chest area a little bit more. Now, you either keep your arms where they are right now, or you put your left hand down. Step back with your left leg. Take some time to process it. Yes, left leg. I know that sounds a bit weird. Okay, let's go up. How did that go? Arms going up. And then, like before, upper body goes forward. Lift your left leg. Let's fly. The only thing that's missing right now is a big K and a big S. The S from Super Person. 
Okay, now bring your knee forward like before. However, this time I'm going to place my left foot just above the right knee. Hands in front of you. Move your upper body forward. Take your time. And you either stay here or turn your upper body to the left. And maybe you can place your elbow right there on the outside of your foot. You can also just put your left foot down like this. Whatever you do, move slowly. The, the faster you move, the quicker you will be off balance. Like this. And then slowly going up, step back with your left leg. Lift the arms, breathe in. We're going back to plank position. And breathe out, upward facing dog. Breathe in, downward facing dog. Breathe out, fingers to the Okay, step or jump forward. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, hands going down. Lift the arms, deep breath in, and then breathe out, bend the legs. Once again, we're going to turn our upper body to the left. Maybe you can place your right elbow on the outside of your left thigh. Check if your knees are still in one line. Uh, open your upper body. Push your upper body up. And just like before, you can put your right hand down or step back, big step. And let's go up. Lift the arms. Front leg should be bent. Move your upper body forward. You can also stay here if it's too much to lift the leg. But I know you can because you people are amazing. Maybe you don't feel amazing right now, but you really are. And I really mean it. Maybe you can bend your left leg a little bit more. And then bring your right knee forward. And place your right foot just above the left knee. Move your upper body forward. And turn to the left. Maybe you can place your right elbow right here. Take your time. Don't rush it. Slowly going up and step back with your right foot. Lift the arms, breathe in, and then bring your hands down and breathe out. Let's slide down from my stomach. Feet are flat. Guys, maybe you have to adjust a little bit of something lying like this. I know that sounds a bit awkward, but I don't know, if you're working out with someone, at least the other person knows what you're doing. <laughs> lift the feet and lift the arms. Ladies, maybe you have to adjust something. I don't know. Go ahead, just do it. Are you still breathing? Maybe you can bring your feet together. And create length from the fingertips until your toes. And then lower the feet, bring your hands underneath, breathe in, upward facing dog, and breathe out, let's go to downward facing dog. And step forward with your right leg, could be one step, could be a whole lot of steps. Now, you can stay here, or you can lift your right arm and twist it right, or do the next thing. First, I'm going to lower my right arm and grab my big toe. And then I'm going to turn my left foot, toes are pointing to the right. And then slowly 
Slowly, 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 slowly. Lift the leg. This is quite hard. And then bring it back. How did that go? Let's go back to plank position. Deep breath in, bend the arms, breathe out. Upward facing dog, breathing in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Step forward with your left leg. Big step. Once again, you can stay here, this is fine. Or oh, lift your left arm, also fine. Or oh, you join me. Not so fine. Take your time. How are you doing? Is this easier? Is it harder? Is it impossible? I totally understand. Ah, we're going back. To be honest, I'm not doing this. I've got ropes and special effects and a green screen behind me. It's all an illusion. Okay, let's go back to plank position. Breathe in, bend the arms, breathe out. Upward facing dog, breathe in, down dog, and breathe out. Now, rather than stepping forward, I'm bringing my knee forward and placing my shin as close to my hands as possible. Maybe even doing this. And then you either stay here or you put your underarm down and place your right hand on top. Or you place your uh, left elbow in front of your right knee and then place the hands like this. Now in this position you really need to remain active. So pushing the left foot to the back, pushing from the hands. If you're not doing it, if you're relaxing, you're all over. Is that bad? No, it's not bad. I think uh, it's all part of the fun. It's, it's life. Sometimes you try things and you don't really succeed. It's all good. If it sounds too cheesy, it really works that way. Okay, place your hands just underneath the shoulders and I'm going to swing my left leg forward. Now I have quite some space, so I can really swing. You can also do a tiny little swing. So option one, you cross your left um, leg in front of the right. Option two, a modified half lotus. Why modified? Because with a, a real half lotus, the foot should be right here and if you have space to do that go ahead but i'm going to keep it modified by keeping the foot flex protecting the ankle and protecting the knee now make sure that your tailbones are firmly pressed into the floor if that's not happening yet don't worry it will happen it will take some time and lift the arms deep breath in and breathe out Shifting forward. Next time you're breathing in, maybe you can create some more length in your spine. And breathe out. Slowly go down. I'm just going to keep my arms low. I'm going to keep my left foot in front of me and bring my right leg behind. Option one or option two.
Just a few more moments. Stay active, remember? Okay, place your hands down. Bring your right leg forward. So you either cross your legs like this, or back to the modified half lotus. And lift the arms, deep breath in, and breathe out. Another deep breath in, lengthening the spine, and breathe out. Arms stay low, slowly coming up, and then extending both legs. Give your legs a little shake if you want to. Make sure that your sitting bones are firmly planted into the floor. So the next move is not very elegant. Okay, I'm not very elegant anyway. And lift both arms, deep breath in, and breathe out. So you can leave your hands in the air Grab your thighs or shins or grab your feet. As long as you feel the stretch. And if you have a lot of space right here in this area, maybe you don't feel the stretch at all, do it for me then. When I started doing yoga, I could just bring my hands just over my knees like this. And it took me a few years before I could touch my feet. Next time, breathe in, you lift your chest, breathe out, a little bit further forward. Arms stay low. You can lie down on your back now. If you have to, place your hands underneath your lower back to give your lower back a little bit of support. What I'm going to do is try to engage my core as much as I can. Lift both legs and I'm pressing away the heels and pulling the toes towards me. And then I'm going to lower my right leg. If you want to make it a little bit easier, you keep your leg higher, or you just stay here. So it's, there's no switching, this is it. Very static. Core still engaged. Legs as long as possible. Just keep in mind that you're almost done. And then slowly lift the right leg and lower the left one. Are you still breathing? Good. Still pressing away the heels, pulling the toes towards us. And bring both knees towards your chest. And maybe you want to rock yourself from one side to the other. And put your feet down. Push the hips up, just like in the beginning. And then roll down slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. And let's do this one more time. If you want to repeat it. <laughs> Several times, be my guest. A 
And then what you could do is put something warm on, put on your favorite meditation music on. If I can give you a suggestion, um, A Way of Life by Hans Zimmer. You can just find it on YouTube. I really like it. Now, once you're lying down, take a deep breath in and a long breath out. And relax your feet. And relax your legs. If you find it hard to relax, it's fine. Just lie down for a few moments. And relax your lower back. And relax the middle of your back. And your upper back. And let go of whatever tension there is between your shoulder blades. Relax your shoulders, relax your arms and your hands. And relax all the muscles in your face because your facial expression doesn't matter anyway. Take another deep breath in. And a long breath out. I could just lie here for, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. But that would be a little bit boring, wouldn't it? So for now, I'm going to roll up and make soft and gentle circles with the shoulders. Make it even softer. And circle your shoulders in the other direction. Relax your shoulders and then gently move your head towards your right shoulder. And then bring it forward slowly to your left shoulder, to the back, to your right shoulder, back to the middle. Thank you so much for doing this, for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again in one of my live classes. Um, take good care of yourselves. Namaste.